Now to the harrowing story of Tomer Peretz, a Los Angeles-based Israeli-American artist who just happened to be in Israel the day the terrorists struck. Well, Peretz immediately jumped into action. He's back home now, and tonight he joined me in studio. We do need to warn you, his story includes graphic details. We don't run away. We, we, we go in. That's, that's an Israeli you know, standard. His vacation in Israel turned into a hell he never could have imagined. October 7th, the day Hamas terrorists attacked. It's an alarm. It's off. Los Angeles-based Israeli-American Tomer Peretz capturing the Here. moment the sirens sounded. He'd go on to volunteer with a rescue and recovery organization, clearing dead bodies. He decided to document that too. On my first day, I didn't pull up my phone. But then I looked around and I said, oh my God, there is no, there is no media. And I just pulled up my phone and started to take photos. Everybody had to see it. And what he saw, even for this veteran Israeli soldier who grew up in Jerusalem, comes with a warning. Burnt babies. People need to see that. Especially right now when people are denying that. Pe people are denying that. I can't believe Like It just happened now. How can you deny that? And my mission is to share whatever I've seen everywhere. Part of that mission, making people understand what's underway in Israel, is not a war. War is a military against the military. This is not a war. This is slaughtered. Like, to stab a baby in his head and burn him, this is not a war. How are you processing this? I'm crying a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be around people. I'm trying to be busy. Um, my, my life has been flipped over. Everything, I, ev everything is different now for me. And that includes his upcoming artwork. Peretz, an artist with a gallery in downtown Los Angeles, says his next project will reflect his unfathomable experience. I'm working on a huge art installation um, that is basically embody everything I've seen. I feel like I'm still in a war right now. I'm, I'm fighting to explain people what's going on over there. Perez was in Israel with his two young sons, both under 10 years old. I asked how they are doing now that they're back home. He tells me they're physically okay, but emotionally, he's just not sure. And did he serve in the military? He did. He, he is a veteran of the Israeli forces. Mm -hmm. uh, he fought in Gaza for two years. Mm -hmm. So this is not foreign to him, but he really wanted to make that point that this is not traditional war. It does show you the history, though. Mm -hmm. there. Okay, mm -hmm. Marla, thanks. Absolutely.